Chris Jericho and MVP get into a confrontation at Hotel after AEW Dynamite last month. WWE's Vince McMahon is shopping memoir to book publishers. WWE executive Bruce Pritchard to undergo surgery for torn rotator cuff. And WWE's Cody Rhodes undergoes successful surgery to repair torn pectoral. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Latest. Happy Friday. I got four news stories for you here today, so let's get right to it. An autobiography from WWE chairman Vince McMahon is currently in the works. New York's Post Page 6 reported on Thursday that McMahon is shopping a memoir to publishers this week. A source told Page 6 that the book is essentially McMahon's memoir about building WWE. Page 6 also wrote, The source adds that a deal could be eminent, explaining, There have been other bios on him and WWE in the past, but this is very much his memoir told in his voice about his rise and life. Literary agent Vigiliano Associates is working with McMahon on the book. Representatives for WWE and Vigiliano Associates didn't return Page 6's request for comment. Page 6 called it a seemingly very hush-hush project. And turns out there was a confrontation between an AEW and WWE wrestler that took place in a hotel last month. Here are the details. In the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reports that Chris Jericho and MVP got into a confrontation following the May 18th episode of Dynamite in Houston, Texas. Though it was a tense situation, Meltzer notes that nothing bad ended up happening. Here is what he wrote. After the May 18th show in Houston, there was a confrontation in the hotel the wrestlers were staying at between Chris Jericho and MVP at about 1 a.m. after the Dynamite tapings. Something that I'm not clear of happened 18 months ago where they had a falling out. Jericho was talking to Matt Hardy and MVP showed up. Most people didn't know what was up and thought he was kidding around until it became clear he wasn't kidding. Nothing bad happened even though it was a tense situation. Jericho did tell him he doesn't fight jobbers when he got in the elevator and MVP was screaming about it in the lobby. MVP noted in April 2021 that he had been blocked by Jericho on Twitter. MVP said the reason Jericho blocked him was a response he had sent to a Jericho tweet about the 2020 United States presidential election. The tweet in reference is when Jericho tweeted the following, I'm not a political person, but is it strange to anybody else that for the first time ever we have to wait a day, two days, five days, 10 days, to find out who won the presidential race? And MVP wrote to him, delete this. This is currently the only information we know regarding this incident. Cody Rhodes has undergone successful surgery to repair his torn right pectoral. Former AEW CBO Brandi Rhodes, Cody's wife, made the announcement on social media on Thursday that surgery was deemed a success and that Cody is on the road to recovery. Rhodes suffered the torn pec while weight training last week ahead of last Sunday's Hell in a Cell bout against Seth Rollins. WWE stated on television that Rhodes had partially torn the tendon in a bra with Rollins on last week's Raw, with the complete tear coming during weight training. Rhodes still performs at Hell in a Cell, defeating Rollins in the main event in a Hell in a Cell match. Following night on Raw, WWE shot an injury angle where Rollins attacked Rhodes with a sledgehammer. No timetable has been stated as to an expected return to action for Rhodes but various sports medicine sources indicate six to nine months as a general guideline. Bruce Pritchard will be having surgery to repair a torn rotator cuff. The WWE executive revealed the news during his Something to Wrestle With podcast on adfreeshows.com. His plan is to get it fixed next Wednesday and to do six months of rehab. Well, there you have it, a quick roundup of today's biggest headlines in pro wrestling. As always, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to F4W Online here on YouTube, and make sure if you guys want to come chat wrestling with me, you can hit me up on Twitter and or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone.